Good morning students. Today I am going to discuss the next portion of the chapter heat. Now students I will tell you some applications of radiation in everyday life. Students we wear light colored or white colored clothes in summer because they reflect most of the sun's heat and absorb only a little of it. Thus, they keep us cool. On the other hand, we wear black or dark colored clothes in winter because they absorb most of the sun's heat and keep us warm. Here in the next example, you can see students, it is a teapot which is brightly polished. The reason is that a polished surface is a poor radiator of heat, so least heat is lost from its contents by the process of radiation and the tea remains warm for a longer time. Now students, I will tell you that why the bottoms of the cooking utensils are painted black. You know students that black is a good absorber of heat. If the bottoms of the cooking utensils are black so that the maximum amount of heat can be absorbed which makes the cooking process faster. Here in this example you can see that in hot countries houses from outset are painted white or with light colors so that they reflect heat from the sun and keep the interior of the house cool. Now you can see students in an electric room heater the heating element is kept at the center of a highly polished reflector or you can say that there is a reflector behind the heating coil of the heater so that it reflects almost the entire heat radiated by the heating element so that no heat will be lost. Now students, we have already learned about conduction, convection and radiation. Now, can you tell me the differences? We can easily tell the differences according to parameters. First of all, the first parameter is medium. So, we know for conduction, medium is required. For convection, yes, medium is required. But for radiation, no medium is required. We know in case of radiation, without medium, heat can easily travel. Now, the next parameter, movement of particles of medium. No actual movement of particles for conduction. In case of convection, actual movement of particles of the medium occurs. But in case of radiation, particles of the medium do not play any role. Now the third parameter, is it possible in vacuum? We know students in case of conduction, medium is required. So, it is not possible in vacuum. Heat cannot be transferred through conduction in vacuum. In case of convection, no, it is not possible. It cannot be transferred through convection in vacuum. But in case of radiation, yes, it is possible as no medium is required. So, in vacuum, heat can be easily transferred through radiation. Next parameter is direction. Conduction can occur in any direction or heat can be transferred by conduction in any direction. Heat can be transferred by convection in vertically upward direction and heat can be transferred by radiation in all directions. Now the next parameter P is speed of the process. Conduction process is slow process and convection process is faster than conduction and as I told you students that heat is 
transferred with the speed of light in case of radiation so radiation process and this mode of heat transfer is the fastest mode of heat transfer so students what i have discussed in this video you just learn the portion from your textbook thank you